all right. Whoa. What's wrong, young man? Uh, nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something's... I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a lifetime. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. She wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would have stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late? Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... That's too bad. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I... Find him. Find him all in. Gotta find him before his... Skies are... They're folding in again and it's... Uh, I... don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. All right. Sam? 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 
Hello? Hey, where the hell did you go? Sam, come on! Sheriff Green? This is certainly something. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill? Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. It, this isn't right. <gasps> okay, that is not what we shot. Relax. Have you seen all this? What do you mean? Have you seen what Augustine's been doing? Something's wrong. Like, very, very wrong. I think you're starting to see what we're up against. And unfortunately, I'm starting to think we might be too late. Come on. Stop. I'm not taking one more step until you tell me exactly what the fuck is going on here. And don't even think about saying one word short of the absolute truth, you hear me? The truth can be a slippery subject. Sam! Look, I'm sorry, Linda. But I just don't think I'm able to give you what you want. I take no pleasure in any of this. 
There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. <laughs> God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me. Fine, but I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? For every path taken, there exists another, taken by a shadow self, another reality, another world, worlds so close they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special, the bleed strong, the entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel, after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn.